Hi, I'm Dani Vasilogu and I'd like to share with you a few things about the DDR German Shepherd Dog. People ask me why are they called DDR German Shepherd Dogs since the DDR no longer exists and the answer is pretty simple in my view. The DDR German Shepherd Dog or the East German Shepherd Dog as it is called is exactly that is a German Shepherd Dog with bloodlines that go back in the former GDR. Obviously at first there was one root so to speak. History has split Germany at some point. One main difference between the two lines is that the West dogs have higher prey drive. Most of the dogs you see competing in high level competitions are likely either Czech mixed with West or somewhat DDR mixed with, with a lot of West, but, but the West dogs are way more hyper and that's what scores well on the field. In my humble view, that, that type also scores well as service dog. The DDR dog, the East German dog, will not have that high prey drive you see in, uh, in the West dogs. So what I would say is that the East German Shepherd dog is better for uh, home protection. Now, of course, I'm not saying that the DDR wouldn't, wouldn't do well in, in service work. After all, they were heavily used by the East German army. I, for one, believe that when it comes to natural civil aggression, the DDR, the, the East German Shepherd Dog, is doing a better job than uh, the West German Shepherd Dog. Having made that comparison, I'm not trying to take away anything from the West Line Dog. I've known some pretty tough dogs from the West Lines, and I'm not talking bull drive or go get it I'm talking about real life situations toughness personally I'm not even that concerned anymore with the amount of civil aggression or social aggression in a DDR the bloodlines are in huge danger and we must value what is left So I'm just gonna run a little, little tiny test. I'm just going to uh, put my hood on like this and sort of uh, crawl towards the camera. I'm gonna place the camera in front of the the fence. The, the pups will be at the uh, at the opposite end of the camera run, and as they hear the noises, the, the noises they're gonna come towards me, and they won't know who I am, hopefully. And uh, it's, it's not a fair test because they're just pups, they're really young pups. Um, call, it, call it fun, call it whatever. But anyway, these are uh, full DDR bloodlined pups. Let's have some fun. Whether it's East German bloodlines or West German lines, not all dogs will excel in protection. And fortunately, not everybody wants a protection dog. 
There's a reason why I said, fortunately, not everyone wants a protection dog, and that is, I've known way too many cases of dogs being in some form or another thrown out the window because they were not, so to speak, tough. I couldn't help but know that some people would judge a dog by its looks rather than its genetics and say that a given DDR dog is not a DDR dog or that he has West German show line in, in its bloodlines simply because of its top line or elements like that. And to those thinking that way, I'm just going to say I'm glad they never owned Filou from Kaolinze. I would too agree with the information according to which the East German Shepherd Dog has plenty of natural aggression. This is nothing to do with training, with being a protective dog, bite work and all that. This is to do with the way it interacts with other dogs. This is Tito. <laughs> We get lost in, in talking so much drive, prey drive, defense drive, drive this, drive that, that we neglect the genetic. And instead of preserving it, we are mixing it with newer lines, if you wish. And in the space of a few years, the old bloodline East German Shepherd Dog will be nothing but a memory. Maybe you should get your head out of talking drives for a while and just enjoy the simple presence of your dog. Conan is a member of my family and he's full of energy, he's very loyal, very protective and he's just he's part of the family. We live in the country and it's protection but also every, every dog we've ever had has got its own character. Because we live in a village he'll react to other dogs barking but he's got very distinctive barks so I know if it's something dangerous or an intruder and I know when he's just reacting to other dogs. It very definitely when we first got him it was a man's dog, he wouldn't let Heather near him. But Heather then was gone closer to him to feed him and then she started playing with him more than I was playing with him and he's now equal with both of us. We have teams and some of the teams are comfortable with Conan, others aren't. So if they're comfortable with him, we'll let him off and he'll interact with the teams because we're here. But we'll never let him off if we're not here and anyone else is because it wouldn't be safe. buy them toys and we found out since we were buying them toys it loves plastic bottles so we just buy plastic bottles for the water that we use and then we keep the empty plastic bottles and they are now his toys and he's a very specific way of destroying the plastic bottles. He needs to get the blue 
cap off first and then destroys the bottle. And it does it every time. He's full of energy and he's got a childlike curiosity of things round about. So he is more mischievous in that aspect. Introducing. Yeah. What well, a G. He's a tank of a pup. The check lines are already gone by being mixed with west lines, so I wonder what does the future hold for the DDR dogs? And so I would personally and humbly describe the DDR German Shepherd dog as being the perfect home guardian, the perfect companion. Maybe my main reason for making this video is to say this. The DDR German Shepherd Dog is a dog. And that means it needs a good home. And that means it needs your attention. And that means you will not stand on two saying, I'll be back. You know, it's just, it's just a dog. It's just a dog that happens to hold inside tons of history, tons of hard work from dedicated East German breeders of the old days. <laughs>